Hey, what's going on guys? John here. In today's tutorial, I'm going to go over mats inside After Effects. Now, if you're beginning, you know, in After Effects, mats can be a little bit confusing trying to understand how they work and how to use them together with other layers. So I hope this video tutorial helps you if you're starting out with mats inside After Effects. So let's get started. I have a composition here inside After Effects. And how mats work is if you're in the timeline window, you'll see a target mat. And there's a few different options. There's alpha mat, alpha mat inverted mat, alpha inverted mat, luma mat, luma inverted mat. First, I'm gonna go over the alpha mat. And what the alpha mat is, is basically putting one layer inside another layer. And in this example, it's basically saying that the bottom layer should be inside the layer above it. So that's kind of how this works. So let me illustrate this. So inside After Effects here, I'm going to grab the shape layer and we're going to draw a shape. Now say if I wanted uh, this clip to be inside that shape, what I would do is go under the target mat, the track mat, select alpha mat, and it puts this clip inside this clip or it puts this layer inside this layer. So that's how that works. And then simply alpha inverted mat just does the opposite. It puts it in it and then inverts it essentially. So this is great. You know, you can take this, you can move it around and you have wherever the shape layer goes or the layer above it, whatever is below it is what's in it. So as you can imagine, this is very helpful if you're doing lower thirds and different animations when you want a certain texture or video inside some type of constrained layer mask. So this is the way to do that. Now let's go over luminance. So there's a second option, luma mat. And what this is doing is instead of actually putting it inside of it, it's taking in accounts the luminance. So for example, I'll delete this. And to illustrate this, I have uh, two videos here. So we have this guy sitting with a sunset behind him. And then we have this uh, shot of the ocean kind of going over the ocean. So say, what if we wanted this guy to be silhouetted into this shot? Well, what we can do is use the luminance because what it basically does is it puts in the luminance and it gets rid of the rest. So let me show you how this works. So if we take this and we do luma mat, you'll notice that what it does is it puts it inside the clip above it, only based on the luminance. And if we undo that, you'll see that it's not complete white because that's what it's tracking. It's tracking the brightness or the, the white of the layer. So for example here, how we can edit this is say if we add a curves effect to this and we boost the curves and then we do that, you'll notice that it goes almost all the way through now. So you can kind of see how this works and there's a lot of different creative things you can do with these uh, matte options. Feel free to experiment on your own projects, but this is kind of a little bit of an overview on how these work. So I hope this tutorial has helped you if you're looking to look at how to use the mats inside After Effects. Feel free to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and share with people you believe that can benefit from these videos. And also, if you would like to support the channel, I also put together a swag store. Down below in the video description, I have a link to my Redbubble account where you can order t-shirts, mugs. I have a bunch of video editing swag on there if you are looking to collect something. So feel free to stop by the shop and see if something interests you. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.